there, Gamecock fans. I'm Laura Goldman with your Gamecock Sports Update. In football, the Gamecocks fell short to the number 13 ranked LSU Tigers, 24-17. Quarterback Steven Garcia made his first start for the Gamecocks, picking up 215 yards along with a touchdown. He also accounted for almost half of the Gamecocks' yards on the ground. Kenny McKinley and Jared Cook both went for 70-plus yards on the night. And the Kenny McKinley caught, oh, a leaping number 11. And tight end Wesley Saunders picked up a 26-yard pass for his first touchdown of the season. On defense, Carlos Thomas returned an interception for 46 yards, his sixth career and second of the season. And Emmanuel Cook also tied his career high of 11 tackles. Now let's check out some sights and sounds from the game on Saturday. volunteers on November 1st following a bye this weekend. Come out and support your Gamecocks. Now let's head over to Jason Belk to see what else happened in Gamecock sports this week. Thanks, Laura. The men's soccer team was not able to pick up a victory this week as they failed at Kentucky 2-0 and then at home against Memphis 2-0 as well. The Gamecocks look to bounce back on the road at Marshall this Saturday at 7 o'clock. The women's soccer team defeated Ole Miss 3-2 this Sunday but lost at, at Alabama 1-0 on Friday. The ladies head to Arkansas to take on the Razorbacks this Sunday at 2 o'clock p.m. The women's volleyball team started the week off on the wrong foot with a 3-0 loss to Kentucky and then a 3-0 loss at Florida, but then came back to beat the Auburn Tigers 3-1 this Sunday. The women's team has a busy week as they host South Carolina State Thursday at home at 7 o'clock, then head to Athens to take on Georgia Friday at 7 and Baton Rouge to take on the LSU Tigers Sunday at 2.30. The men's and women's swimming and diving team each lost on the road at UNC Chapel Hill this past week, and they look to get back on the right foot at home against UBA. That's it for your Gamecock Sports Update. I'm Jason Bell, and I'll see you next week.